know, in today's video, we're going to do a tour of my workshop. I've had several subscribers ask me to give you guys a look around to do a tour. So in today's video, we're going to do it. I've got a small shop here. It's seven foot by 10 foot. And I have got it set up pretty cool. I've got a lot of well utilized space. I'm going to give you guys a look around. Um, one of the most important things that I've learned in van life and having a small spot like this is <clears throat> is that you have to have a home for everything if you don't have a home for everything you're gonna have a mess you're gonna have clutter and you're not gonna have a spot to work on the things that you need to work on when you need to work on them so what I've done is I have organized this space the best that I can to meet my needs there's going to be people out there that aren't going to agree with how I have things set up. You're going to think maybe I wasted space. I'm pretty type A and I like things the way I like them. And I know that there's some spots where I could have put a tool bag and filled that thing full of tools and utilized that entire space better. But I like my pullout glides and these things right here and i'm going to give you guys a look at that and and some of you guys might think it's a cool idea and want to do it in your small space um and some of you might have suggestions on things that i could do better leave all those suggestions in the comments and i'll think about them all right so what i did when i first got started is is i went to home depot i cheated and bought some cabinet bases that were already built hindsight i wish i would have built my own i would have had a lot more storage space since buying this i learned how to make cabinet bases with tons of drawers um in my next shop i will do i will do just that but three cabinet bases from home depot three quarter inch plywood on top of that um mounted my vise mounted my um drill press and boom i've got a workbench workstation that's how I got started. Um, then I took three quarter inch plywood and um, some one by twos. And I started making some compartments. I knew the tools that I had about what size they were. So I started building sections for those tools. I made a section for all my small screws. I made a section for all my nail guns and my and my screw guns and I utilize those the most so I put those directly above my work area and then next to that I took a core a pegboard and I cut it I made pockets so that they slide these are utilized so well um, I know there's going to be people that think that that's wasted space, but I really didn't want a tool bag or something up there that I was constantly digging in, looking for the right tool. These just slide out. I've got all my tools right where I need them. And then above that, I've got um, miscellaneous tool bags. A lot of the tools are probably out on workstations, um, but I keep the tool bags there every every tool you know has an allen wrench or an open end wrench to put new bits in so everything is and the instructions they all stay in those bags and then above that i just have some storage totes that i use for all my electrical my plumbing miscellaneous stuff mostly for residential stuff not for van building and then i made above the workstation here some little cubbies there is what eight of them and I bought the trays first. I bought these little trays from um, Lowe's or Home Depot. And then I counted how many from my space, how many could I make? And that's what I did. And then that left me enough room on the side that I could mount my, my screw gun. I could mount that battery charger there. So it really worked out well. On the back of the workbench is all the tools that I really feel like I utilize use the most my my wood chisels my out my open ended wrenches screwdrivers stuff like that um and then okay so now let's look at the drawers um how I've got those organized I'm doing van builds now so I have a lot of stuff that I need extra for van building so I went ahead and organized some stuff so that I've got one drawer that's strictly for surplus plumbing stuff and one stuff for electrical stuff and then I've got just miscellaneous driver bits more of gray type tins that I keep things organized somewhat organized and then 
miscellaneous tools in this one. My router table is in this one and some extra electrical stuff. All my sandpaper and my sander, some extra sand discs are in that one. Um, and then hammers in that, extra hammers, miscellaneous tools in this bottom one. Plenty of room down there still for more stuff. Um, on the side next to my shelf, I recently added a small tower and that houses all of my little sanding discs. I can just run over here, grab a disc and take it back out by the van and use my for sanding. I didn't that was open. <laughs> uh, and then my work, um, my toolbox, um, that big toolbox really houses all the, the wrenches, the, the socket sets, the uh, files. So this one locks, you got to have that open. That's why it was open. Um, router bits, razor blades, Allen wrenches, plumbing tools siding tools, stuff like that, all my files, um, wood chisel stuff, screwdrivers, tape measures, wrenches, socket sets, open-ended wrenches, all my driver bits, my gloves, my Forster bits, and miscellaneous tools and saws. And those are all nicely organized. Over here, I put my TV on the wall. I did frame my TV in with this one by two, although you could destroy that and break it and take my TV, you're gonna make a lot of noise. I didn't want anybody to just walk in my garage, rip my TV off the wall. So it is a little, you, you can't get it out of this box without taking the box apart. So I did that. Um, mounted my levels, more storage containers. I like using those. And then I just made this out of a leftover piece of, of plywood. And that is just a shelf for all my clamps and um, earmuffs, stuff like that. So a couple little um, carving things that I made. So, yep. My levels are mounted, so my trash can keeps tucked away over here. And then on this side, I've got just a plastic tote that I keep um, more van stuff in, extra van stuff in. Above that, I've got a couple of totes that I keep a bunch of screws and bolts and miscellaneous stuff in. And then two more pegboards that slide out. Those pegboards, um, again, I like using these. It's easy to get to my tools. And then a couple of drawers. These just house my um, my woodworking stuff for um, leather working and for um, wood carving stuff. And then above that, I've got my um, skill saw and a bunch of stuff for painting and stuff like that. So on this side of the workshop, I've got a small work table. I can sit down at it and draw and sketch designs, but mostly this is utilized for my two belt sanders. I use those a lot. This Delta one specifically, I use it a ton um, for just fine tuning corners. Um, and then above that, I've got a dry erase board, all my pens, pencils, stuff like that, my weather radio, if I need to check the radio. Um, so really, really utilizing um, this whole entire area nicely. On the left here, I got my air compressor and um, the hose. It is on a wheel, so that just pulls out. Um, I can see this will reach all the way out to the driveway and into the vans that I build. And then it just retracts nicely back into its home. So tons of area and oh up here up here is just another cabinet now this thing is massive it's big i've got to get on a ladder to get up there but at the very top i just keep my wet saw in case i'm cutting tile um and then i've got a dremel uh a dremel press up there and then just my um tools for sweating pipes for doing some some residential type plumbing and then all my extra caulking, caulk guns, stuff like that stay up there. So it's not the easiest to reach up there. So I don't keep a whole lot of stuff up there. So anyway, I feel like I've got a nice 
um, area here to work in. And then since I started building out vans, I went ahead and built a two foot by four foot, um, I think it's four foot workstation. And I'll give you guys a look at that. It's really just made out of plywood, two by fours, just a little workstation um, that I have close to the edge of the garage so that a lot of the sawdust I can just sweep it into a pile and pick it up so um yep yep all right guys so that's the tour of my small space I hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll see you guys on the next video